Hi, Judith. Hey, David. Hey, Hello. All right, Hello. we're all here. Okay. And it is seven o'clock, so. Six o'clock. <clears throat> Six o'clock. <laughs> I'd like to call this uh, meeting of the Township Land Preservation Committee to order. My name is David Gordon, Northfield Township, Washtenaw County. All right. You know, I don't, do we, we don't usually motion to open the meeting, do we? All right. The meeting is open. Think. Would you? Yeah, you would say, roll, no, please? Yeah, yeah, call the Got roll. Secretary. Got it. Christina Ferris. Got to unmute yourself. You're muted. <laughs> Hi, Christina Ferris, Northfield Township, attending by Zoom. David, we got you, Judith. Hi, Judith Moldenhauer, uh, Northfield Township, attending by Zoom. Thank you. I'm Marissa Prision, attending remotely from Northfield Township, Washington County. Um, Tallulah. I'm Tallulah West, reporting um, remotely from Northfield Township in Washtenaw County. Okay, uh, Lenore. Present, Northfield Township, Washtenaw County, Michigan. And Sue Shink. Can I move yourself? She said she was going to get something. To I know, that's why I did her last, but um, we'll, come, we'll come back to her when she does rejoin us and have her state where she's from. David, if you can help me keep an eye on that, because I'm not looking at you all. I'm looking okay. at my notes. So all right. that would be helpful, please. Oh, there's Sue. Sue, can you state where you're reporting from, please? Hi, this is Sue Shank, and I am um, reporting from Northfield Township. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're all here. Um, I'd like to make a motion to adopt the agenda. Um, and we have an item seven there, which I think we aren't going to have time for. So we can either remove it now or just leave it there and maybe postpone it when we get to it, depending on the time. I would, prefer to leave it. I would prefer to leave it and just see what happens when we get there. Okay, so the motion is to adopt the agenda. Do I have a second? I'll support. Second. Supported by Marissa. All in favor? Aye. No. Anybody opposed? Motion carries. Um, this is the time of the call to the public. I see that there's a man named Jim and someone else named Bob who are listening in on our meeting. If you or anyone else in the public wish, wishes to comment, now would be the time. Please identify yourself and where you live. And um, you have three minutes. So the call to the open is all of the public is open. Yep. And I just left uh, or let in Nate Moko. Hello, Nate. <laughs> he's on mute, but he's there. Hello. Sorry. No problem. Anybody would like to make a comment? Now's the time. Otherwise, we'll close call to the public. All right. Moving on. Committee member comments. Does anyone like to make, a mo make any comments at this time? I would. I just Sorry. want to thank... So I'm going to turn this, my, uh, I'm having problems with my technology. I want to thank everybody who worked so hard on the hike. It was amazing and wonderful. Great. I'll second those uh, sentiments when we get to the hike on the, uh, on the agenda. Does anybody else like to make a comment? Seeing none. To move on to the approval of the minutes from May 3rd. I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll support. Do I have a second? Can we have a discussion Marissa? though real quickly? Yes, Any I comments? support. I have a comment. Um, I just noticed when okay. I was looking over the minutes right before our meeting that I implemented Lenora's feedback of changing board member comments to committee member comments on the first page, but on the second page at the end, I failed to put that there and it said board member comments. So I made that change to, I changed it to say committee member comments. Good catch. 
Um, so that was that was all. It's a little different than what you're looking at. So I just wanted to let everybody know I changed it. And I'd like to make a comment too about the minutes. It says that I said hello, which is true, but I think I also said that I appreciated the work of um, and, and thank the LCP committee for the work that it does. Okay, let me, I'll, I'll take that down right now while we're on, while we're on the hook, because I think that I was just having a hard time recording. Yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> getting it Said hello and, 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 and thank the committee for the work, it's ongoing work. Okay, thank you. Hearing no other comments. I, I just uh, have a comment, but okay. it's nothing to change the minutes. I just, again, I want to let people know, like, the LPC can educate people, but we can't come out, obviously, and say, from an LPC perspective, we support a millage. We can only educate the people of the value of having land preservation. So we have to walk a very fine line um, on that. So I just want, as individuals, you can, obviously, but as LPC committee, the committee as a whole can't say, go out and vote, the LPC is supporting the millage. I just want people to be aware of that. <clears throat> if we get to that point. That's helpful information, Lenore, thank you. Yes. Thank you, Lenore. Um, seeing no other comments, uh, all in favor of approving the minutes as amended, say aye. 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 Any opposition? Nope, motion carries. Now we can move on to the agenda items. Agenda item number one is to review and approve. I'd like to make, make a motion to approve the uh, process as uh, drafted by Marissa regarding how the committee is going to respond to emails that are sent to our Northfield Township LPC at gmail.com address. Do I have a second? Second. Was the second, was that you, Judith? Yes, I, I second. Thank you. Okay, um, I don't know if you, if everyone has looked at the uh, Google Drive. I made uh, some recommendations to Marissa about punctuation, which she did uh, implement, and it's now on the drive. So there was nothing particularly uh, in content that I changed, just uh, the layout and adding some paragraph indents. Um, does anybody else have anything else they'd like to add? Judith? Yes, uh, in reading it, I, I think it's good to have a statement. Um, but I think that we can essentially have the same statement for both of those situations. I think that, you know, all we would need to say is thank you for contacting us. You know, your, um, your, your email will be presented or shared with the committee members at the next meeting. And, and, you know, thank you again. And here's how you can, you know, look for information. I think it can just be the same thing. Just, just one, one thing. Like one statement for all. Gosh, yeah. I could set that up as an auto response at that point. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, I like that idea. So then David, could you like change your motion just to say like Marissa and Judith will, you know, create one auto response? out of but basically containing the same information that's in those two responses? Yes. Um, okay. Or I can re we can represent it next month. <laughs> yeah, well, how about he withdraw his motion? Oh, okay. And then All right, we, I withdraw the motion at this and, point and yeah. we will, and Marissa will uh, redraft this as, uh, taking Judith's recommendation to have this be the standard auto reply so I, I would make that a motion, Mr. Gordon, make that a motion and get a second on that. So you make that as motion and I'll second it. All right. Um, I got to get into my Motown mood here if I'm going to be making motions. Um, <laughs> all right. So I'd like to make a motion to it just be a pip or something. <laughs> uh, tops. I would like to make a motion that the. Um, can I help you? Yes. Yeah, please make I'm a motion. I'm typing, so can I help you? Yeah. About, uh, we'd like to make a motion to implement Judith's feedback 
and represent next month. <laughs> right, for a single, a single automated response. And, yes. Yep. Is that fine? And also, would it be okay um, if we put in here that um, in the meantime, this one can be used just in case somebody, you know, sure. if we haven't adopted our actual policy, yep. Um, yep. in yep. the meantime, the one of these generic the responses will be fine. Yep. So we can use this until that final um, wording, the final phrasing is, yes. is approved. Yeah. That yep. Okay. And That's great. Uh, um, the only other recommendation I'd make is that we have some kind of. Do we have support? Do we have support for this, Lenore? Yes. Yes, okay. we have support. Um, I was going to ask maybe if uh, when you're doing this rewrite that you make put uh, put a title on this of some sort. Hmm. On the document itself. Identify what it is. Absolutely. Okay. I okay. also, this might be a good time just to bring it up. Something that I've, I've noticed that we need is like a directory of where to find all this stuff. So I am going to work on putting a spreadsheet together with links that will be like right on the homepage. Oh, nice. So um, yeah. kind of like a directory. So um, yeah. that's something that's ongoing that I don't want to time commit to, but that's something I want to work on to help you guys no. know where everything is. When you say a directory, a directory of what? Directory of links. Like, so you could open up. A, basically a spreadsheet and say, okay, I need to know where, you know, uh, residents' addresses are. And here's a, 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 li a link to where it is in the Google Drive. I tried to organize the Google Drive as well as I can, but I know sometimes- for, us, for committee members? For committee members, yes. Oh, okay, as opposed to a public. Yes, yes, for committee members. Yeah, I think a directory for the Google Drive would be really helpful, Marissa. I think some more Google Drive training would be helpful too. Yes. Um, yes. But, uh, yeah, we can talk about that at a later date. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe we can do that at board member comments and yeah. So I, okay. My discussion um, too was with Judith. My one question, and we addressed it was, let's just have one response. So right. right. Um, I'm just going to say look? committee member feedback. Yeah, Marissa, um, I think you and I talked that we needed a a directory of our names and phone numbers and our personal information because last I think within the last month. When we were working on this hike, we couldn't locate, uh, or no, as Christina, we couldn't locate um, Julie's phone number and we had to make a couple phone calls and we didn't think we had a directory of our. And, of and there is one under, um, let me see, where did I put it? There is, there is one started. Okay. Um, so maybe you guys can go and just add the information because I okay. have everybody's phone number. Okay. Um, and I, that's what I mean though. Like, I think that it's, I would probably put that in resources and training. Okay. But there is one somewhere. Um, okay. Okay. So we could talk about that too. Very think. good. Good pick Sorry. up. All in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Any Aye. opposition? No opposition. The motion carries. Agenda item number two briefly discuss the hike and participant surveys. Um, I would like to congratulate the subcommittee on doing an excellent job of putting this together. Um, well done. And uh, I have some other comments to make regarding uh, next steps regarding the hike and the surveys, but I was, I'm curious what anybody else would like to add at this point. Yep. Lenore? So I did all that, very well done. Um, I didn't go on the actual hike. I went on the hike before to the prep hike and that was gave me a whole different perspective of that hike or that um, preserve. So usually I'm just going bum, 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 bum. then I stopped and it was really pretty. It was very educational, very enjoyable. So I got a different perspective by having someone tell me a little bit more about the preserve. So I found that very helpful. Um, if we want to talk about the survey, I was thinking maybe on the survey, we should have had the time of the hike that people went on, you know, what time it was, because I know one, and I don't recall seeing it there. I know one person said, oh, the leader was great. So was that Julia or Sean, or maybe both? And um, are we collecting the emails from that um, information? Yes, I did. I captured it. And it is actually, it's... Um... I don't remember where I saved it, but I say I started a voluntary contact list. Okay. Um, that we can continue to add to as we collect other people's information. Um, so yes, I captured all of that. Okay, thank you. And people did register online, so we could probably um, sync up 
the survey with which height they did just by looking at that information. Okay. All right. So I was just thinking that would be good because I know that reading some of the surveys, people said, oh, keep me informed and we'd like to learn more about it, so. Great, Judith? Yeah, um, in looking over the surveys, um, I tallied up um, the, the numbers for how people heard about the hike and eight people said through social media, that was the most dominant one. Then word of mouth told, you know, somebody, a friend, family member, five responses, the flyer, there were three and none through the township website or newsletter. So I think that tells us right there, what are the main, um, you know, avenues, the main media that are important to getting out um, information, one about future activities, but also just information about, you know, the committee in general, but certainly for the activities, this is, this is really critical information. The other thing is that, um, you know, when it, for the next survey, um, I would, you know, very much welcome, you know, feedback about the questions, what, you know, Lenore, you mentioned something that you thought might be added to future survey. Mm -hmm. We don't want to have surveys that are really long. And so like for that first one, I just put in check marks so people can just go check, check, check. So, um, but the thing is before the activity, I think it'd be really important for us to go over what kind of information we want to gather specifically from the survey, from the survey about that activity. Cause I think that will give us a lot of really good information for determining future activities and, and contacting people. That's really good information, Judith. Thank you very much. Um, yes, Christina. So in thinking, in looking over these surveys and thinking more about how we're communicating with people, I wondered if instead of, you know, you were talking about the, the township, you know, the website didn't really get us much, but if a blog or some sort of regular, and, and I don't know if this fits in this discussion or if this should be for later in the agenda, but some sort of a regular form of, of communication um, that is just about, hey, we're doing this hike or so a follow up and a few photos of, um, well, we did this hike and here's what some of the participants had to say. And then, you know, something later on, if I know we can't um, directly advocate for a, a millage or not, but I think the whole education process, it's a long-term and ongoing one. And we can reach so many more people through electronic um, communication. And if we could start to build a following on a blog where um, let's say we do things like, um, hey, here's what's in bloom you know, this, in, at this time period, or hey, I just noticed something. I was out for a walk in the woods the other day and I saw this or you know, something about a farm, something maybe from a farmer and something about their farm or uh, a testimonial from someone who has done a conservation easement on their property and what that means to them. And if we're constantly just you know, putting this out there, building our following, which can have a much broader reach and more viral reach, I think that will help us in an inexpensive way, the biggest thing that this is gonna cost us is time and some coordination and communication, um, you know, writing. Would this be but I think the impact could be really positive. Would this be anything different or in addition to the Facebook presence? Um, it's kind of a more substantive, or maybe we could do this on Facebook. I don't know. Um, I would defer to somebody that has more um, social media experience, and that probably would be youth, Judith. Um, well, Marissa has, you know, a lot of, it's just that. I yeah, think and definitely Marissa. In a sense, Facebook allows you to do, say, hey, this is, you know, you can post whatever and, and do something. But if there's some other kind of platform that, that I don't know. And, and we do blogs for uh, where I work, and it's just kind of postings that we end up putting um, on our website. Um, yeah, and I know we don't have, I don't know, maybe we could put them on the Northfield Township website so that there's a presence there, but, you know, set up, and maybe a blog is 
too involved, but the idea is just some form of um, interesting communication with people about the natural world and our, our farmlands that surround us that people would find engaging. I know that the, the website is undergoing revision, but even on the splash page, the opening splash page, you know, sort of the, the photo of the day or, you know, the, the kind of, this is what we're looking at, you know, hap happening, natural happenings and events in the township today, you know, so that as soon as somebody comes to the township website, they're making a connection between the township and the activities. And that would the trustees support that would be a question? I'm not sure a photo of the day or a daily thing would be sustainable. But, you know, as long as we did something every couple of weeks or... Yeah, weekly, quarterly, or monthly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, where it's... And it gets you... It just gets you more notice, too. Yeah. At the visibility. I think that's a great idea. I think it's it's it should be something that we talk about under item number three, which is the... Um, okay. Like I said, I didn't know exactly. if it belonged here. Exactly. Yeah, no, that's good. I'm glad you brought it up. It's it's an excellent idea, and we definitely want to build our following and and keep you know having interesting uh, items uh, in social media about what we're doing and what's available in the community. Um, I've got a couple more things that I wanted to say about the hike. Does anybody else have something first before I jump in here? I just want to I just wanted to thank Tallulah and Julia, who of course isn't, but I'm pass that along for us, Judith. Um, <laughs> they did a lot of the legwork and really got the flyers and things out there. And I just want to thank them for that. Okay, great. Marissa, you had your hand up for a second. Yeah, I just, my name was getting tossed out there. Um, my opinion on the increasing, I know we're going to talk about it in communications, but um, uh, Facebook can only reach people who are on Facebook. So that's something to consider as we move forward. Um I do think that um, the, the hike was, was lovely. Um, my children loved it um, and it was, it was interesting. I also wanted to let the group know that Sean emailed us, responded to the follow-up email because she signed up, you know, she signed the sign-in sheet. So she responded to our follow-up email that, um, that she had a great time and to please let, let us know when we want to do it again in the fall and whatnot. Cool. Very good. Great. Tallulah, you had something you wanted to add? Oh, no, um, I didn't have oh. my hand up. I was disagreeing. Oh, okay. Um, a couple of things that I was thinking about was um, there were some comments made in, from the people that filled out surveys about, you know, the pace of the walking wasn't quite fast enough for them. There's a lot of standing around. And uh, I had talked to Lenore about this and she had the excellent recommendation of the next time that we, we have a, uh, a walk or a hike that we, that we mentioned that this is not a, you know, an exercise uh, to get your heart rate going. It's really going to be rather slow just to alert them because um, you can't really do both. You can't have a nature hike that stops to look at plants and wildflowers and also keep up the pace unless there's no way to do the two. So that was one, one point. Um, I'd like to keep the hike subcommittee alive. Um, there's no, we, we definitely wanna do more hikes. Um, so I'd like to keep that subcommittee um, around and not disbanded at this point in time. And that leads me to the idea of, of what's next. Um, is, it, is it a fall colors? Uh, this is not something for tonight to be decided, but it's something I'd like the subcommittee to come back with some ideas on um, what the next hike would be. I had the idea and other people too, a fall, a fall color hike. Um, and I was talking to uh, the chair of the historical society and, um, and Jennifer, I'd like to approach her about maybe doing Centennial Farm Tour, which I mm -hmm. think would interest people not only in nature, but also in our farming community and, you know, our architecture, because you'll be seeing farms that are, you know, buildings that are probably over 100 years old. Um, I think that uh, we also should take, there, there's an assessment that was done on the Whitmore Lake Preserve um, by the Washtenaw County uh, I mean, sorry, the Huron River Watershed Council, that's an extensive uh, site assessment of that park, which I think we should have a link on our website if possible, um, since we're, we should put something on the website about the hike that we did and um, how successful it was, a little blurb with a link to that assessment and send out an email to the people who gave us their emails, thanking them for the hike and saying, you know, by the way, if you're 
more, you know, if you have any interest in learning more about the place that you took your hike, here's the, the Watershed Council's assessment of the entire pro uh, property, which is really quite interesting. Um, and that's all I had on the hike, other than, again, great job. Marissa, is this something you could? I, I would just like to add to that. Yes, um, adding a link to our website somewhere is easy. However, I'm hesitant to make any changes to the website right now because everything that I'm doing now, I'm going to have to redo on the new system. It's not going to carry over. It stopped carrying really? over about a month ago. Oh. Um, but I have a list of things like Judith's bio, for example, that I'm waiting for the new site to go live, which they're motioning for tomorrow evening. So it should, right. Lenora, am I understanding that correctly? Isn't it on the agenda for tomorrow night? It is on the agenda for tomorrow night. At so the board I, meeting, it's correct. happening soon. So right. then we'll be able to make more changes. And I would like to use that opportunity to maybe get with Judith and other folks if they're interested and make our whole, you know, we went through basically, um, just to give Judith you a little bit of a background, we went through and gave a bunch of feedback on how, what we wanted to change about the website. Spent quite a bit of time on it, um, but it was going from what we had where um, obviously starting from scratch would be a more ideal and more thorough way to do it, but we haven't had the bandwidth or experience to do that in the past. So maybe that's something we talk about with the next agenda item as well. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, there's no point in doing it now and then doing it a month from now. It's not even gonna be a month. I think it's gonna be days. Okay, but right, that's, right, how, right. How, about, how about just sending this link to the people that gave us email addresses? I can, I did send, we did send a follow-up email. I think I copied everybody on it. It didn't have this particular link. Oh, but I can right. send oh, it yeah. to those people if, you, if you'd like, but we did send a follow-up email. Yes, okay, that's wonderful. I'm glad I had forgotten about that. Um, yeah, Christina wrote it and I sent it to all of the, uh, everybody who left their, their email address. Okay, so before we leave item number two, the hike committee is going to come back to us um, maybe next month with their ideas about the next hike and um, anything else you'd like to uh, report on. Um, I'd be I'd be happy to continue with the hike committee, but um, since Julie is not here anymore, does someone want to volunteer to join Christina and I? I mean, we can start if if not. We, we can we can take it from here, but we do have an, a vacancy. Yes, Judith? Yes, I was, since I've <laughs> taken Julia's place on the committee, I could take her place on that subcommittee. Oh, right. I love to hear that. <laughs> because, Great. you know, I, I, I was, you know, sort of was involved with the design of the survey and it would be really great to be involved, more involved with the stuff like the social media, like what Marissa was talking about, and, and to really make a, a wonderful coordinated effort, you know, to um, to really, I, I think the, the the committee did a really terrific job, you know, with this. This was that that first time out, and I think we're learning a lot from the feedback and the resp the experiences that people had, and so it would be really great to be able to serve with you and, and help you to continue the work. And great. I think that it really was one of those, you know, we were looking at how do we build momentum? And I think we really were successful with that. And there was so much excitement. The people that were there were so happy to be there. They were enthusiastic. Um, they learned a lot. I just think it was a success. So I think this is really good to continue that momentum and build upon that. Okay, Lenore. Yes, yeah, so I, I agree. I'd like, I'm glad the high committee is staying together. And it would be nice to me, yeah, just throw this out at a minimum if we did something once a quarter. I don't know if, you know, we have the man power or the woman power to do that, but that would be really good. And I would really think it would be great to do a centennial farm tour, at least see if we can't coordinate with the historical society with COVID up. I think that would be educational as well, but I'd like to see if we can't do a hike once a quarter to keep um, people aware of all the great things we have available in our township. And maybe even we venture out after we visit everything in our township. Great, uh, Judith? Yeah, I, I just want, really wanna second what Lenore said. Um, I think having something every quarter um, keeps the committee and what we do visible. 
you know, it, mm -hmm. people are aware of it. Um, and even within the hike thing, you know, I, I don't know if it's, it's feasible, but like the park to see it in the four different seasons. And that could be something that people could look forward to. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, wow, I get to see what there is in the summer and then the winter, you know, so that, again, I think it's part of people really feeling invested in the area and their connection to the area, which is, which I think is, is a really important thing. So. I like yep. that. Yes. Yeah, I think the hike committee and, and having hikes could really, um, uh, do what Christina was talking about, which is building a following and the momentum and, and all the rest. Judith? And, and also, I think it becomes a really wonderful connection to the Washtenaw County, you know, preserve too. And so if Sean is, um, you know, willing to continue to work with us, I think that's a tremendous resource that we have. And so, um, yeah, I, again, being able to build on that's really terrific. Great. Tallulah. The last thing I, I was going to say, um, Christina and Judith, how about I'll just shoot you guys an email um, and we can coordinate and have a meeting before our next um, LPC meeting. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Okay. Super. Very good. All right. Uh, moving along. Number three, evaluate the current objectives and the action steps and reprioritize resources. So I want to thank everyone who, uh, who sent me their emails with what committees they're on and what they're working on and what they would like to continue to work on and where we should refocus. I got responses from everyone and um, I can report to the committee that uh, pretty much there's uh, communication uh, between the committee and the community is a big one and the millage uh, were the two big projects or objectives that um, that everybody seemed to mention when they wrote to me individually. Um, Sue also mentioned uh, private donations in addition to the millage would tie right in there um, as something to pursue. Um, and everybody, no matter what uh, committee they were on, felt that their committee could uh, contribute to um, the education of the township regarding a millage without promoting somehow or another. Um, and of course, Judith is the new addition to our, to our, to our committee has uh, an excellent skill set, and we need to figure out how um, she can fit into our, our uh, list of, um, David, are you referring to the action tracker form or is this something different? No, I was actually just oh. talking about generally what everybody said in their emails about um, what they're involved in and what they want to be involved in in the future. Um, I think action tracker is, a, is an excellent document that uh, Marissa put together for us. Uh, can so I ask a question on our goals that we did all together a few months ago? Yeah. I'm trying to click the link to open it, but I'm having trouble. Is that linked in the uh, agenda? Yeah, it is. To the action tracker? Yeah, uh, I believe so. To the, to, well, like the. It's uh, a link that's inside the there, Christina. What's that? Like I put a link inside of our, our folder for today, like the June 7th meeting. Yeah. Right. That's, um, yeah. that's a link um, to another location in the uh, drive folder, but I can send you directly to that if that's easier. Well, the thing is I, I can't get that link to work and I even downloaded it into a Google. Or, um, okay. Can or you doc. go out? It this said I had to have permission and it, I, I, I I was only doing this afternoon, so I didn't necessarily ask for permission in time to get it, but I also did not get permission, and it would okay. not let me access the Google Drive. I'm huh. sending it to both of you right now, Sue and you said Christina. Yeah, because so, I've been trying to look at these different documents, and some are in that the June 7th drive and other stuff that I'm like having trouble getting to. It was a link, but you know, I can move it right to that folder. 
So let me. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know why it's not working. Yeah, because I had no trouble opening it myself. I, but, yeah, me no. neither. Um, on this subject, which is probably the biggest uh, discussion item for tonight and uh, that everybody's been spending time thinking about, um, part of it is going to be, um, I think, reevaluating our subcommittees and combining some of them to be more focused and more effective because everybody seems to, uh, no matter which subcommittee you're on, uh, interacts with the, uh, the concept of improving our communication and, and the millage. So um, I've got a, a lot of ideas about the millage, but um, I, does anybody want to specifically speak to what they wrote to me? Um, not that we need to go through all this regarding um, you know, using their outreach resources or, or uh, any ideas about how to refocus the community, especially Marissa, because I know you've given this a lot of thought. Um, in terms of goals and objectives. Well, I don't my need to thought put you on is, the spot. Lenora's raising her hand. Yeah, you if somebody else is raising your hand, let them go first. That's fine. So here's my thought. All right. Um, two things is communications, obviously, to the community. We have a budget of $5,000. That budget goes away at the end of June. We need to have a communication out to the public, to me, um, and I think through the mail, and we need to have the invoice by the end of June if we wanna spend that money and communicate, which is one of our objectives and educate. So, and then the next is the millage. Again, we cannot promote the millage. What I think we need to do is we need to present something to the board and get them to say they will approve the language. So we need to figure out to me what the dollar amount that we would ask the board for. And they said that they, want, they would support putting it on the ballot so before we go and spend lots of times and all that, we need that vote. That's my personal opinion. And we need to determine as a committee, what would be the millage that we would ask for? Is it 0.25, is it 0.2, is it you know, 0.5 mils, is it one mil? And that's um, two things I think we need to focus on. In particular, if we wanna do something before the end of June to get communication, we need to put something together. Those are my I'm thoughts. happy to help with that. Um, Sorry. Who was that that just spoke up? Was that you? Me, Sue. Sue, I want to millage shamed. Okay. Well, <laughs> again, so the board has said that they would support it, and we need four votes. And I think so far, but you never know how someone's going to vote until they get there. Um, but they did say we weren't going to do a survey that they thought the way to get it done was, you know, you'll find out what people want through a millage. They said that. I think we need to get, you know, do our research of what do we think would be the proper rate or the proper suggestion. doesn't mean they right. would accept it. Right. You definitely need to do that. Reasons why and get that before them to see if they are committed to it or not before we keep spinning our wheels like we unfortunately have done. And then they say, well, what did you do that for? So... Uh, okay. That's my thought on that. And that's appreciate that. Thank you, Lenore. Uh, Judith? Yeah, two things. The millage is a big deal. And I think you've seen that um, reference, a resource book mm -hmm. that would get put out, HRWs. Anyhow, it, you need to plan at least 18 months, you know, to exactly, exactly the co conservation millage toolkit. So, I you know, would think we need to back up. When is this millage supposed to take place? Because we can have something to the board by the end of June, but when is this millage supposed to be on the ballot? And, and to be able to work backwards from that mm -hmm. would be very helpful. August or, um, August or November of next year. Um, I think that what we need to do with this point, since everybody agrees that the millage is, is a priority and the education of the community on that is, I think we need to create a subcommittee um, that's going to review the toolkit that I just showed, um, create a timeline for us, mm -hmm. figure out which rate to ask for based on what other communities in our county are offering, generate the draft language for the millage, um, and decide when we would like to put it on the ballot. And then that's not going to take a lot because I've done a bunch of pre preliminary work on this and I actually distributed it to the, to the 
committee a long time ago um, collecting this various information. And like Lenore said, we need to bring those, those small details uh, of the rate and the language to the board and say, here's what we wanna do, here's when, we, here's when we wanna do it, and here's how much money we wanna ask for. We need the approval before we even, you know, that, that's really not gonna be a lot of work, Lenore, to get that together. No, no, I, I, I don't know, you know, what the money we want to ask for. Oh, you mean the millage rate? The millage rate, yes. Got it. Got it. And I, I would suggest that um, what get is given to the trustees of the board is a single page with bullets of things make it very, very clear. Sure. So because yeah. that, you know, to condense it, make it really straightforward so people understand it. Clearly, we don't need pages and pages of documentation, but I think if we're able to put it succinctly into one page, and I'd be glad to design that, then, you know, I think we'd be in good shape. Great. Tallulah? You know, one, oh, sorry. Um, I, I sorry. think that it would be good if the people that are volunteering for this initial step, I don't know if they could maybe give us some, I, the rest of us, um, or the rest of the group, um, an idea of what the level of effort, effort is, because just from, I think what maybe Judith said in the last meeting that, I mean, this could all, maybe be an all hands on deck, you know, mm -hmm. um, thing that we work on. And so I'm kind of, assu I'm kind of assuming that's what it's going to be, that we're all going to be involved in this. Yeah, you know? for sure. Right. Like, again, I caution us that as a committee, we can only educate. You know, the 18 months and all the out stuff, we can only educate people on the value of land preservation. We cannot, per se, promote the millage. So we have to make sure we... Right, we will 18, do that. The 18 As a committee, well, right. It, it might be individuals doing that 18 month, you know, looking at that. But as a committee, right. you know, we, can, we need to take it to the board and get their approval that they'll put it on, determine the millage. And then after that, you know, we continue to educate people on the value of land preservation. Right. And I think that's Sue right. Shank, did you have something you wanted to say? Sue? Yes. So I, I haven't looked at that. I have read the, the manual, but I haven't looked at it in a while. Right now I'm trying to look at elections and I will, before the end of this meeting, know um, what the vote was in this community around the county millage. But my thought is, if we look at it, we might see that some of that work's already been done from from that 18 month timeline so i want to think about that next year i won't be able to help much at all um because i will also be running for office just 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 so you know i can help a little but not a lot and so um there's that but then also i just this community is is you know we're we're primed in a way and and the county millage was wildly popular but i will look and see um, what this township voted on that. So that's what I had to say. Thanks. It's, what, it's in here. It's in here. The numbers yeah. that you're talking about getting us sued, they're in this book. Right. I don't know. What year is that book? What year is that book published? I think it was 60. I thought it was 61% passed it in our township. In 2020? Yes. Or 58%. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's actually much. pretty high. It yeah. was actually, it was probably the first time we actually passed a county millage for um, any kind parks, of sports right. and rock. Yeah. Christina? In our township, in our township. I just had a thought. So if we have $5,000 to spend and we just want to get, I think at this point setting, it, just even getting the concept of land preservation in people's minds, right. or even that, not necessarily that we exist or, you know, sort of setting that scene that primes things, what about, how about a billboard? Because you're hitting you know the entire community and I think we could do one for five grand. I think, uh, let's talk about that on item number five, which is the newsletter. And if we don't wanna do the newsletter, we'll do, we'll okay. talk about possibly doing the billboard. I'm sorry, I'm just okay. thinking of like- I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. So I kind of <laughs> like to, do take the advice that Lenore had, which is that our meetings should be more about making decisions and not actually doing the work of the subcommittees, which they'll do between now and our next meeting and present us with the, uh, with the work product. So if we create a subcommittee for this um, millage, then we can 
have anybody who's not on the subcommittee, if they have any ideas, send to the subcommittee any thoughts that they have, and then let the subcommittee do their work and incorporate all those ideas in a report that comes back to us. Um, so yeah, uh, after I recognize Marissa and we chew this over some more, let's, let's create a subcommittee. Yes, Marissa. Well, I have concerns because you and I spoke and, you know, the objective that we talked about today was getting a subcommittee together to work on this, but that is the work of the LPC. And basically this toolkit is designed to pass a millage through. And if we're not allowed to do that as a committee, we shouldn't be doing this as a committee. We shouldn't be creating a subcommittee to go through this toolkit if we're not allowed to do that. No, you can't campaign for it, but there are a lot of things that you can do for it. So, what, so we need a subcommittee for that, I guess is what I'm saying, because this book is how to right. get a millage from start to finish. So as a committee, we're not allowed to do that. We shouldn't be discussing it. And I didn't realize that before this meeting, so I apologize. No, no, I agree. I totally agree with you, Marissa. It's a very fine line. And no, I don't think us looking at that and talking about that is, is what this committee should do. I so think maybe the subcommittee, my suggestion then, David, would be, because I know we're trying to get something outcome driven here, maybe the outcome here is that we have a subcommittee that determines the ballot language and number of mills and a timeline. Yep. Yep. So how, right. is, that, how is that different? I mean, if, if it comes from the committee to the board as a proposal, how is that different, I mean, why is that not the committee advocating for it? I, I don't understand. It isn't advocating, it's just saying that we would like to put a millage on there. That's all, just like we just put a millage on for the fire department. Okay. But the board isn't out there um, saying, um, you know, let's do a mailing six months before, two months before, three months, this is what it should say in the mailing and all that. It just said, the chief has indicated that it's um, for the benefit of the community to have a, a increase in the fire millage and re medical rescue. So the board agreed and put, agreed to the language, agreed to the mills, and that's it. And so that the, board has, the board has no trouble saying things like, you know, we love our fire department. We think they do a great job, you know, and it's very important to us, for us to have it. I mean, they get accolades all the time without specifically saying, please right. vote for this millage. Right, but so, I mean, I, so I agree with, yeah, I agree I with there's Marissa. Wrong. There's nothing wrong with the, subcommittee looking at this document to see what it is that we can pull from this to educate the public without correct you could promote it. do that right but yeah yeah but i i mean to me the key is just what marissa had said those three items that's what we need to get to the board yes exactly okay uh christina she may have more we, i interrupted me, marissa so marissa may have more so i i just wanted to share i would love to be a part of this it corresponds nicely with some work that I do with the Watershed Council and also with the Food Policy Council and the Planning and Zoning Committee. So I would like to be a part of this, but I am a rule follower. So <laughs> I just want to make sure, I guess, that, that we know the rules about what we can and cannot do and that um, we're, we're diligent about um, keeping that boundary where it needs to be. Maybe we can get board permission to, you know, use this. I don't know what the, I don't know what the answer is. I don't, I don't want them to babysit us either, but I think it's important that we aren't giving anyone any reason to think that we're doing something we shouldn't be doing. We, right. we can talk about that. We can't campaign. So reading a document, um, education, that's not campaigning which is a fine line. And so maybe we need guidance on that, but all That's, of those things are allowed. So it's not like we're bad for, for looking at it or whatever, we're breaking a rule, but we can't campaign as a committee. If, if we all get together outside of being on this committee and work on it, we're okay still. So I think that, um, but it's just gotta be private, right? It's gotta be private funds and, and things like that. So we need, we need guidance, um, but I, I don't think that in term, you know, like if we don't do this as a committee, I don't think it's gonna happen. So I think we need to be careful, but not too sensitive so that we actually kind of shoot ourselves in the feet or whatever. I, agree. I just, this is like a step-by-step -step, do this and then do this. So I need to know which of these things I can't do because I'm going to look at this book and I'm going to follow the directions and it's very well written and organized. But if there are things on this list I shouldn't do, I need to know which ones they are. 
You can do all of them in your private capacity as, as Marissa Priskin. Okay. So, so you, you don't have to, I can do these things. I helped can I helped not much, but I actually helped get the, um, parks, natural areas, preservation millage onto the ballot. I did that as a member of the parks commission. I did it as a member of the board of commissioners. So we went through the process of getting the millage on the ballot. We did talk about it as something, you know, in, in an educational sense. And then as a private resident, I actually campaigned for it. So right. I participated in the process start to finish. I didn't do anything wrong, right? So you just, it's a separation, but it's, it's you know, same person, same body, different activities oh, under a different heading. Right. Okay, so, uh, Christina, you had your hand up. You, and I then, guess you and then to Lula. sort of answered because I was wondering how, how do you go about advocating for something if you can't advocate for it, but you just have to do it as an individual? not as a committee. So we would have to do whatever advocacy work outside of this committee that we might want to do. Right. So we'll have the committee um, they do very, the technical kind of, about figuring out exactly what can and can't be done by. Like you said, do research the language, put that together, do that, right. that component of it. All right. Yeah. Great. Tallulah? I guess I'm just confused to kind of what Marissa and Christina said about how are we supposed to follow a guidebook? Um, and if we're all going to be possibly hands on deck, but we can't all be in the subcommittee, is that is that right? Like, I don't kind of under struggling with how to wrap my head around. We would actually do this? I mean, how would do other, other, like, how does the fire part department do it without doing it? And, you know, I don't, I don't understand. Right. So the, well, again, so the fire department, basically the chief came and asked to get the millage on and told us the amount that he thought was going to do, he needed. And the board supported it. That was it. Um, I mean, we haven't as a board talked about it since then. And I'm sure his presence in the community is, you know, helpful as an individual and as the fire chief. But, you know, he isn't sending out any mailings that says, oh, vote for the, um, you know, millage for the fire or the medical rescue. So as individuals, just as um, Sue said, you can certainly support it as an individual. I mean, I would be cautious to say, well, I'm on the Land Preservation Committee and the Land Preservation Committee supports, you know, this. I'd be very cautious. I'm a resident. I happen to be a member of the Land Preservation Committee, but you got to, you have to do that fine line. I will talk also with our attorney on it just to see the fine line. But again, you can't say it's the greatest thing. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think it will be that difficult personally. I think. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be as difficult as, as, uh, I think we need to get the three things that, again, I go back to what Marissa said, that needs to go before the board. And that timeline needs to go through. As individuals, we can look at it. If we want to do private funding to do a mailing and say, yes, you know, vote it, you know, vote for the millage, here's why, that certainly can come from a private perspective. Right. Certainly, certainly Sue can campaign as a commissioner and say, vote for it. <laughs> That, you okay, know, so, um, Judith, one more comment, and then let's figure out who's on the committee besides Marissa. In terms of what goes to the board, it's just then three sentences. It, it's nothing that has to be designed per se right. as any kind of something that lays it out clearly. So if they're right, it's just if, the facts. As Marissa says, if it's three items, it's just bing, bing, bing on yeah. you, know, you know, word document. And so any kind of way of visualizing the the issue is something that comes after that is that correct right okay. so so i'd like to uh, respond to a tallulah uh, question that she had how is it that we can have all hands on deck and still just have three members of a subcommittee and how would that work one of the concepts that's been brought up by a number of the members of the committee is that maybe 12 
Which Losing is yourself. Breaking up, David. Be a chance to turn off your video. I, um, sorry. Uh, Try turning off your video. Okay. Um, we could do this by having two meetings a month instead of one. Did that work? Yes. I'm being told my connection is unstable. Um, it's better. I said you can have, it's okay for other members of the committee to send the subcommittee their ideas about things. Sure. That's not driving toward a decision because the board, this committee has already made the decision that the millage is a project that we need to present to the board and we need to present to the community in terms of education and information without advocacy. Um, and I, I don't think that will be a difficult line to walk. Um, I mean, it's kind of silly because if we're working on it, we're not working on it because we don't want it. And if we want it, that's advocating. I mean, just the fact that we're working on it at all, in a sense, is, um, is supportive of the idea. So we can no, be supportive not. of the idea without going out and publicly campaigning, like Sue said, for passage of a particular millage. It will be here are the so, benefits of land preservation, right? The benefits of land preservation and how it works. That's it. So yeah, but yeah. I, I so actually Marissa, think it's too, you know, very different. So right. So Marissa's volunteered for this. Um, is there anybody else who's very excited about doing this? I mean, I have the information that I could pass along to others, and we could only have three of us who are going to be the active workers on this thing. Um, Sue, you raised your hand. Well, I guess I don't. If other people are excited about working on it, I'm happy to make space for them. I have like a lot that I, I'm, is going on, but I'm happy to work on it too. Well, um, I'd kind of like to be on it and Marissa's on it so we could be a third person. And um, Sue, I know that you got your hands full. I know that you got so many pies that you're juggling at the end of those sticks, like uh, on the Ed Sullivan show. Yeah. For old people. I have a lot of experience with getting millages passed, but I would say that that's at the county level where there's a different, you know, it, there's kind of a different level of work where I've done more of the guiding of the work than doing the work. But I, I mean, I would say that, you know, the, the millage for the open space and also the one for the conservation district, I had a lot to do with those. So I don't know. I mean, if people want to talk to me outside of the, the committee, that's fine. Or I can be on the committee either way. Okay. All right. So I'm looking, um, David. I'm looking, if I may. I'm looking at the branding and language committee. It's David, Marissa, and me. So why don't we just keep that? Yeah, I mean, it's for the first part of this, where we're simply going to put some facts together with a language and the rate and give it to the board. That's not going to be a tremendous amount of right. uh, work at this point. Marissa, you had your hand up. I want Judith to help me with this. Okay. Well, that <laughs> she can take my spot. Well, I mean, she just seemed to have a lot of good ideas and concise. Right. And then, the branding I'll, and language itself is something that she should take over <laughs> oh, because yeah. that's her area of expertise, like not take over, but, you know, collaborate with. Maybe it's better to have, so, how about Marissa, Sue, and Judith? I, and I, would say, and I, yeah, I don't mean to volunteer you for things, Judith, that. but it seems like this is your, your alley, especially if we're handing it over to the branding and language it. community. Yeah, I understand, and I'd, I'd be glad to do that. But from what I'm hearing, from what Lenora is saying, it's just sort of figuring out the, what you had said, Marissa. These three things. Yeah, it happen. is. It's truly the three things that, that Marissa once, said. Once that happens, I'm good, you know, to work with whatever is needed. Right. But as far as you know, knocking out that initial thing and figuring it out, if the three of you want to do it, and you know, reference Sue with that, I'm good. With well, that. it's up to you, Judith. I will. Um, give you my seat if you'd like it. Oh, no, actually, Lenore, I think you're really important because you're on the board. You you have a sense of how this works a lot more than I do. Okay. <laughs> but once, and I guess my question then is, what does the board do? I mean, can anybody, any groups come to them and say, hey, we want a millage and how do they decide whether to approve it or not? Well, um, Parks and Rec can certainly come to them and say we need a millage for Parks and Rec, yeah. Yeah. Then why can't we as a committee come to them and say we need that? It's we are going to come as a committee no. and tell them we are going to oh, need. So it's just a statement. Right. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we're just gonna. They have. So the background, and you may have picked this up, Judith, from the minutes, was we said we'd like to do a survey, and they said, "Well, right. why would you like to do the survey?" I said, "Well, we'd like to see if people would be willing." to pay for land preservation. And they said, well, just put it on the ballot. Yeah. I remember. So we said, all right. And again, before we start going through all the hoops and all that, we just really want to say, you said to put it on the ballot. Are you going to back that up or not? And I think that's, that's great. So that if you and David and Marissa can, you know, put that framework together, <clears throat> then whatever the board needs, and if it approves, <clears throat> then I think we can get into gear to right. do whatever we want to do individually or strategize how right. things happen. Again, the strategy is going to be individual. It's not going to be, again, from the LPC. The right. LPC can just, again, say, hey, let's do quarterly hikes. Let's look at the centennial farms. Let's you know, look at um, the preserves and let's see how the county millage is helping us and how the green belt has helped us. And I think that's where the education comes in. And then we advocate as individuals and we get our friends to advocate, but we cannot do it as the LPC. Okay, so I think we've um, pretty much covered everything. Um, Sue does have a tremendous amount of experience, which I definitely wanna loop in at some point. Um, so Nora, let's just, I'd, I'd rather, at this point in time, just rather than burdening Sue, if you know Lenore, Sue, if, if it's just me and Marissa and Lenore that work up this initial proposal to put it in front of the board, then if they if they give the, the go ahead, then then maybe I step away from this thing and you step in as part of the subcommittee. How would that would that be okay? Sure, that's fine. All right, so let's do that. And um, so it's, uh, I would just call it the ballot, you know, the ballot language subcommittee. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. All right, ballot language subcommittee. Although it's more than that. I know. You just give it to the group that already exists. That's what I already have in my notes. Okay. But the branding uh, and language subcommittee will okay, so, determine these items. Right. Um, there, we're still on item number three, um, which is which is a big a big discussion. And uh, current objectives, we've got obviously the newsletter, the millage, um, communication. Do we uh, have the time or inclination tonight to talk about which subcommittees might uh, be combined? No. Nope. Okay, so. <laughs> it's already seven o'clock, so it's been an hour. Yeah, it's seven o'clock. All right, so we can, we can hold off on that for now. Are you uh, like me when I ask someone a question and didn't really want them to answer it? I do that a lot. <laughs> and I get told, well, if you didn't want an answer, why'd you ask? Um, no, I did. I was just curious okay. if anybody else had anything. Well, to it's say seven o'clock, so I would more. say that we need to move on myself and we can look at combining them. All right, so let's come back to, um, to item number three next month. Um, the other thing I had on number three was, was something else, which was, what about the idea of meeting twice a month? I'm kind of curious how the members of the committee would feel about that. I would be okay with it. Um, I'm I wouldn't sure we could try to keep it a little shorter. Sorry? And if we're just, a, if we're just approving, if we're mostly approving stuff that people have worked on and it's a little shorter, I would be good with two times a month. Okay, anybody else want to jump in there? Well, if most of the work is getting done in the subcommittees, maybe those groups should meet more frequently because what we should just be doing is briefly reporting out here and then maybe making some other decisions. Yep. Yeah, I, I agree with, with Christina. Yeah, I mean, if the subcommittees are doing their work, lots of meetings are going on and then it's like, that's where the work gets done and you bring it to the committee as a whole. Okay. Right. All right, cool. If That's we need it, thing. though, I mean, if we need a meeting, we can always decide to call a special meeting. We don't have to decide to have meetings every two weeks. Right. If we need an extra meeting, we only need to give, what is it, 18 hours of notice or something? Yeah. Yes. Right? So if we need okay. to do that, we can do that. And we Good. only need four of us to show up, right? Right. We have some yes. business that needs to get done. Right. All right. Good. We're done with item number three for the moment. 
and uh, we have we have our language subcommittee working on the ballot language. Um, item number four is review and approve the quarter page write up that was put together by Marissa. So I'm going to pass this off to. I'd like to make a motion uh, to approve this quarter page to be included in the. Uh, Treasurer's newsletter and pass this off to Marissa, who's done the work on it at this point. So, if you'd like to talk about, you know, the two photos that you have, and yeah, I wanted to pick a photo, and uh, hopefully, people can help me caption the, the one of Julia if we choose that one. Um, and of course, any feedback for the write-up itself, I am open to. So, I think kids are cool. I like the kid photo. No, no offense to Julia. Yeah, and also the horsetail um, fern hides. Christina's face. <laughs> it does. I I, I, I realize. <laughs> but it was cool. No, no. But it, it was a cool was, photo, of Julia, uh, for sure. Yeah. I, I have a, a question. The the format. It's it's one. Is that eight and a half by eleven, Marissa? The page. Yeah. So yes, but PDF, just for PDF is is eight and a half by eleven that I'm looking at. Yes. So, but this will be reformatted to fit, like literally, just the text and the photo will be copied and mm -hmm. reformatted by by Jennifer Carlisle. I have no okay, control over that. We don't do it because what I was going to, you know, offer to do is if it's a quarter page, I can design that, and they just have a PDF to drop in. Is that no? She, it's all the same. She, she'll, she does it because she has to move things around. You don't know where it's going to go. Yeah, stuff like that. So I, I, oh yeah. My only other comment was that in terms of the text, it might be nice to have to break it up in terms of reading so that you might have. Let's see, where's the, where's the text? Um, you know, uh, what we did or um, what the hikers did and then the mission only need to use once. And so, I, you know, it just might have like a little heading so, so you can call things out. You know, I would like that too. We did receive, a, I, I, I get your point. I would also like to put more page breaks in there. Uh -huh. um, we did receive a message from Jennifer Carlisle to be as brief as possible. Okay. So okay. I'm not sure the extra page breaks are going to be a possibility, but if you have recommendations on the, like okay. she'll, she might reformat this anyway. Oh, really? Right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So just the text in the picture, okay. it, the title is really what all we were really going to have control over. So, right. so, so any edits, do I just, you know, give it just, you could, so always you can send them to me ahead of time. Okay. Um, or if you have them, you can tell them to me now and I can make changes. I, it's easier if I go through and do it. When, when is this due? No later than um, soon, very soon, because well, we were hoping to have it approved today. So just so you know, right. for next time, like if you have draft, you could always send them ahead of time and then we can make them. So it, it needs, I mean, the, we mail out the bills on June 17th. So like before our next, so we need to approve this tonight. So if you have edits, you need to say them out loud so everybody can hear and approve right. them. So one thing I had was like, we, we mentioned the LPC meets and then check us out on Facebook or visit the website. I would actually put the Facebook if we can, and then the website links potentially. They well, it's a paper. Yeah, but it's a just paper. like check us out on Facebook. Like, can oh, like, like facebookcom slash Northfield Township LPC. Yeah, something like that. Okay. I had um, in and even the website name potentially. I think that's a good recommendation. If it's I was gonna, to make this thing shorter, I was thinking that um, after. In that first paragraph, with uh, after the Julia Henshaw period, I would take out all the rest of that first paragraph. Um, well, yeah, and also, you know, you can just say that it was the hikes were led by Sean Severance and Julia Henshaw, a member of LPC, and just leave it with that. Former member, and I would um, yeah. use our use our shorter mission statement. Mm -hmm. Instead of the longer one, right. um, Lenore had the idea of possibly saying, you know, something about the, the county park, the actual um, Whitmore Preserve being your tax dollars at work somehow. Where would you like me to put that? What Sorry? Was that? Where would you like me to put that? Where would I like to put that? Right after like the hikes at the Whitmore Lake Preserve on Seven Mile Road in Calam you know, right in that area, right at the end of the first sentence then. 
So the preserve is your tax dollars at work or the hike is your tax dollars? Preserve is bought with your tax dollars. Oh, okay. I wouldn't I'll say I would do. Go ahead. In collaboration with the Washtenaw County Parks and Recreation Commission, comma, which funds the preserve, which uses your tax dollars to fund the preserve. Yeah, that sounds good. I, I, I like more of um, David's, you know, your tax dollars at work. Okay, so how, so that's what I'm asking. So where would you like me to put that? Right, so, right at the end of that, just say commission oh. period, you know, your tax dollars at work or your, you know, something like that. Um. Or instead of wildflowers in bloom, you could just say hike at, at Whitmore Lake Preserve slash your tax dollars at work. Well, but it's not the hike, it's the, the land at work. Right. Yeah, I see. You know, funded by your, you know, funded by your tax dollars or. Um, um, yeah, how about this? Just when you say it's spring wildflower hike at the Whitmore Lake Preserve, comma, a, uh, a park paid for, a park paid for with your, with your county I'd tax dollars. Yeah, supported by, yeah. A park supported Here. by your tax dollars. I like county tax dollars. I think it's an okay. important distinction to make because mm, we're yeah. we're talking about a millage task people to pay more taxes. Why should they? Yeah. So they should understand that this is a different pot of money. So we could just call it your county tax dollars. Yeah, there you go. Supported by your county tax dollars. But it's sent out by the township. So how do they make the connection between the township and the county? I mean, it's supported by all the county. You're getting the tax bill with it, so they'll see the county match. What? I said, don't be getting. I don't mean, but they'll be getting the tax bill with it. So even though this is not funded, there's it's there is a county millage in this tax bill. It does. It's not the um, natural preserve, but there is a county tax bill in there. You know, Marissa. You could get more specific and say funded by the natural areas preservation program millage then they can find it on their tax bill yeah not this time oh, well okay. maybe we don't have maybe we don't I have think, to put that in there i think trying to trying to edit something by committee right. is right. nearly impossible <laughs> right. um, yeah, i think I, I think that we have an idea of what we want to do here marissa and i don't know that this committee needs to necessarily find the language yeah, as much as it's all good. We just need to make it a little shorter, and we yeah, may want to add. I'd, I'd be glad with you, to, you know, doing whatever you think. Yeah. Yeah. Work. Okay. Yeah. Go on. So add something about it being tax dollars, county tax dollars. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. Um, Marissa, you know, I could try to draft something. I can, no, I can do it. I would rather just do it than try to take directions from everybody at once. No, all right, no, I agree. agree. Um, so, okay. sure. I guess and I will make it make sense, I promise. Yes. yes. Okay. The just I, of do, it. I did hear the only piece of feedback that I heard that I have not acknowledged yet is the hikers identified. I think that we should keep that because I think it's the only thing that demonstrates any yeah. benefit that we had to the participants and to the, you know. Yeah. Um, so I would like to keep that segment, but I can shorten the the, land, the statement. And um, maybe the motion here is just to adopt this with permission to edit as needed if Jennifer tells me it's yep. too long. That sounds great. Right, That's and great. when you when you write it up, Marissa, just make sure that she, you know, write it up so that she can cut stuff from the bottom up. I if will. She's gotta make it I fit, will. takes off the bottom paragraph and then she, you know, whatever. Yep, I will do my best. And I have a pretty good rapport with Jennifer, so, um, Right. If it's All too right. long, I can I, I can ask her to like maybe hey if this is too long, will you let me know how many words I need to cut? Right. Did, did we say captions? Because you know when people look at pictures, they look at the pictures and they read the captions. Right. Yep. So I put and a caption. Uh, they're they're almost more important than a headline. It seemed to be a consensus that people like the photo of the children better. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. It says two Northfield Township youth learn how to identify plants from the expert Washtenaw County naturalist Sean Severance. Or, or two, you know. Young people, I find used to be fairly. Uh, how about kids? Or kids? Or yeah, how about kids? Children. How about children? Yeah, children. Yes, mm -hmm. I like children better than kids. I can have gold pictures. Those are my children, by the way. Two <laughs> Northfield Township children learn how to get poison ivy. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> they were learning how not to get poison ivy, and actually, I think they were looking at a dead cicada. So that's yeah. Kind of funny. Are you? Yeah. All right. So, so Marissa, 
Marissa, do me a favor, send send your copy out to me and Lenore as part of your our subcommittee on language and Hey, when is it due? Oh, it's due, uh, she said by the 30th, right? No, 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 no. The tax bill is going told on. Me, Jennifer told me when it was due. I think it's at the end of this week, possibly. Yes, you'd probably want to get it to her at the end of the week. We send out the tax bills on June 17th. Okay, so yeah, I think she it. said it was Friday the 10th that it needed to be. Yes, by. this so week. I will jazz here. this up probably tomorrow and get it out to you guys. Okay. And we'll just, okay. I'll give you a deadline for re responding back because I have to schedule when I do work. So right. yeah, we'll get right, right back to you. Okay, we'll so, do it right back. So I guess I'd just like to say, Marissa, the content is very good because of the limitations that we may have. As um, David said, you, you know, cut from the bottom up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But everything else I liked. And then I just, I just had the thought of maybe putting something about, you know, this, you know, preserve is funded by you. Yeah. you can <laughs> Yes. I'll add that somewhere. I'll add that. Okay. Great. Yeah. Done. Great Are your county tax dollars. Thank you. Your Moving along. Tax dollars at work. Yeah. So all something right. like that. So that was all. So I, I, I should have got that sooner. So can we right. get like a, uh, can I make a motion to a, give me permission to edit this document and send it to Jennifer as needed. Yes. Okay. Can I get support for that? Uh, I second. All right. Any discussion? I'm supposed to say support or second. How do you want Either that? is fine. Or, we usually say support, but it's okay. Okay. All right. So uh, any discussion or can we vote? All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Motion passes. Go for it. Next Thank item, I, agenda item number five. Um, determine a plan for sending a more formal newsletter. Um, and again, it seems to me that we should assign this to one of our language uh, or communication or outreach subcommittees. Um, my <laughs> idea, we need to figure out, uh, this is a deadline situation we, which we need to have uh, at least invoice by the 30th and hopefully sooner. And what needs to happen and be decided in my opinion is which topics are gonna be in the newsletter, uh, the layout and artwork. Um, then after that's done a process for future, a process and a schedule for future newsletters so that we have them on a regular basis. Um, those are the three things that, uh, that come to mind for me um, and I've got a whole list of topics that I think ought to be in there. But uh, before we try to write this thing right now, instead of trying to write it right now, can we figure out who we'd like to give this assignment to? Um, we know what the assignment is quite, David. Yeah, exactly. And when is this supposed to happen? When do you want this by? This month. Oh, man. <laughs> so we have $5,000 in the budget. It has to be basically invoiced by June 30th, or we lose it. If we do not think we could do a quality product, then we shouldn't do it. If we think we can get a, pro a quality product out, then we should do it. The question would be, do we want to do like a trifold? Do we want to do a large postcard? What would like some of the topics be on there? And you're right. So I think we're focused on the hike. We have some money to spend. It goes away at the end of June. It must be invoiced by the end of June to get it into the June and this prior budget as opposed to the future budget because the board would not let us carry the money forward. And it's Christina, fine. you had your hand up first and then Sue. I'm so, sorry. So um, as I mentioned earlier, I think a billboard could be an awesome impact thing. Um, the billboard company will help with design. Well, we have a designer, but they will help with design. We have some great photos now from the hike. We would just need to come up with a one line message. Sometimes those are the hardest, but one line. So it's not like we're writing a whole brochure full of copy. I think we could get something hopefully relatively close. And even though we couldn't get the, in, um, the board up like immediately, we could get the billboard company to invoice us so that we could spend the money. I'm sure they're happy to bill us and then put us on their schedule. I think that I think a billboard would be hugely impactful. Um, can I ask one, what, where, what billboard and what company is it outdoor? Most I'd have to research it. I haven't 
done any outdoor in this area. Last June, my advanced type class worked with, I believe it's outdoor front door, whatever it's called, and designed billboards, a billboard in Detroit. It was at the corner of essentially Warren and 75 that, you know, thanked healthcare workers. And so it was very effective and it was really great. Um, and so that took some coordination, but, you know, if you want, I could contact the person there, but I don't know what, what billboards, you know, are available and, you know, where they're to be positioned. They'll, they will send you a, a list of the inventory and they'll tell you when they're available. Like I said, they could bill us so that we could right. get the invoice and get it paid and then maybe wait a couple of months for the optimal location to come up that's right here near Whitmore Lake and see. So I, they'll they'll send you a list of what the inventory is and when it's. So from a, an accounting perspective, I'm not sure that works from their perspective either though. Really? Yes, because they have not rendered the services and if they haven't rendered the services, they can't book it into that fiscal year. They will have to book it when they render the services. Oh, geez. So it can't Seriously? Be really because we've done well, that, I mean that is the accounting rules is you know you it's you recognize the revenue when you render the services doesn't matter when you receive the revenue and you recognize the cost when you've expended the cost so if they have you know so I'm not sure you know how that would be. so they haven't given us the service so I can't believe they can recognize the revenue until the service is rendered well, it's the idea of paying up front so that it's it's you know booked in and then you just do it i know but they i mean for yeah. me, on an accounting perspective they can't take the money because they and they can't book it in their books because they haven't rendered the services but um, there's so many things that people get paid for in advance before and then yeah. you get the service that's right but they probably don't recognize that they have probably a prepaid expense on their um, books but they're not recognized it until the services are rendered could I um, jump in here for a second? <laughs> it's a, it's this, an accounting. It's a wide ranging conversation. And, and I'd kind of like to have people raise their hands so that we don't have a, okay, sorry. a sorry. whole bunch of back and forth. Good Tallulah, idea. Tallulah, could you jump in there? And then Sue? Tallulah? You're muted. Here we go. Um, well, it sounds like we might need a subcommittee to talk about what to do with the $5,000 or another meeting. But I mean, we could even do something like use the money to order corrugated signs to promote our future hikes. I mean, because that's something we're already doing and we could use them over and over and over again. I mean, is there stuff that we can think of that we need that we can reuse? That's just not a one time deal. I think you that's know, like, very, oh, sorry. Yeah, like maybe like I was thinking like huge banner signs of properties that have been set aside by county money that, you know, people pass every day and they have no idea that that's, you know, like a sign that's saying, this is one of our properties, like this will never be developed or think, you know, I mean, just to like things like that. And we could move those signs and reuse them over, or, you know, over and over again. Too. Idea. So Stu, you had, a, you had your hand up. Yeah. So I was thinking about uh, mailing. Um, I don't know what's the best way to approach this. Um, I think if you do a billboard, obviously you got to have some pretty catchy. Um, but I think if we ended up doing a mailing, I'd be happy to participate to try to get it out by June. I think there's a lot of stuff you can talk about. If people are interested, you could put the like the catchy, easy to read stuff up easiest front. Right. That didn't come out right at all. You put the easiest to read stuff, you know, in the captions and then or the headlines, and then you can talk about it in more depth. I mean, we could talk about green infrastructure, placemaking. Um, we could talk about the preserve. I think there, you know, there's enough definitely to fill a, a, a mailer or a flyer. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the best thing is, but I think it's important that we do something to use up that money because, um, if we don't, I think the board might have second thoughts about giving us more money in the future, which in a way shouldn't be an issue, but I can kind of see that coming. So um, I think the other thing is, and it maybe it's too, too, um, too far, or we need more time in advance, is that 
we could we work with the schools to help them get some kids to the preserve to visit it because that would be pretty cool to help kids have an opportunity to go to the preserve um or or you know I, I we don't need to plant trees in the preserve there are plenty of trees anyway those are my thoughts okay anybody else marissa I love the idea of a billboard in the future right now. Like to me, the idea of a billboard is to like draw people to your awesome website or to get them in your door. And I don't think that we have, obviously we don't have a door and we don't have an awesome website right now. So um, I would be hesitant to spend a bunch of money on a billboard just to quickly spend the money um, without something solid for them to refer to on the back end. You know, um, that's my two cents on that. Um, I think that trying to get a newsletter out by or built by June 30th is really ambitious. Um, but maybe a postcard or, I mean, maybe, you know, maybe there's something with less copy than a trifold newsletter that we could, we could come up with that would be both a little bit uh, less effort, more impact. Or... But I'm done, so that's it. Um, yet another idea might be a poster that people can hang up, you know, so that we can just print something that could be sent out to people. And so it becomes a visual statement about what we do. And it's something that people can have in their houses. They could tack up in schools. They can do something like that. That I'd be willing to, I, I'm sorry, I do not have time <laughs> by the end of this month to, to ride, you know, to shepherd a, a, a newsletter. That's just so much work. I've done so many of those over the years. But a poster that has, it's sort of a mini billboard if you want to think about it that way. And maybe we come out with a series of posters, you know, one every for every you know couple of months or maybe we have one every month that you know people look forward to so you have a whole series of them so that would be an easy thing to do um, and the poster could have just minimal copy we have the pictures make sure they're high resolution and we're good to go um i think these are a lot of really good ideas and i kind of I'm falling behind what Marissa said, which is billboard could be totally cool. I love the idea, Christina and Tallulah having signs that we can we can have and and put out to continue, you know, historically uh, reuse and have them in front of people's homes or like Ju uh, Judith just said about posters for supporters. These are great ideas, and I think we should have a a discussion about them. July 1st, but I don't know that we could actually incorporate any of those things before, before the 30th. Um, I know there's a lot of work to putting together a Judith Moldenauer quality newsletter, um, but you know, this, is, uh, this is what was put together by the, um, the land preservation, I mean, the uh, historical society, lots of you know, artwork, um, which fills up a lot of space. And this, this is actually two sheets uh, they had it printed by Kinko's. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a printer that I've used historically, and he's a friend of mine. He can get the job done quickly. Um, and there's so many topics that I think, as Marissa said, would be something that people could keep in their hand, you know, be one, one time. Ownership of how many uh, historical properties or preserved properties that exist accomplishments of the Land Preservation Committee, um, the synopsis of our hike, like a roundup of that with a photograph, uh, local food places that sell food that's grown locally here by farms. Um, and, you know, I, I'm a former newspaper reporter, so to put together five short little stories is what you would do every single day. It wouldn't take a month. So, um, Th those are my thoughts on it. I think we should stick with the newsletter and get something done and, and mailed uh, in the next three weeks. That's just my opinion. Judith? Um, would you Pimlenor. think that the newsletter would be um, a collection of all these different kinds of things? 
Or would a newsletter be a single page that comes out once a month with a particular topic that you can address? I just dropped um, the one that we sent out last summer into our folder for today, mm -hmm. a copy of it. So Judith, so that you can get a look at that um, if you'd like. And honestly, a lot of the things that we've used in the past or from our website can be reused. You know, if we're just talking about getting our messaging out there, um, we can update and use, we could use the same publisher document so it looks the same and just change the pictures and the articles. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be a huge lift. Mm -hmm. I think if we could get, you know, three or four people to commit to writing their own pieces of copy, that we could compile something. Okay. I mean, you know, if you want to do something to meet that deadline, then I do think what David said, sorry. Um, Go ahead. I think what, what David <laughs> said of, you know, after the 1st of July to, to really think more broadly about a communication strategy, because indeed all of these ideas are really cool, you know, but the, it's the time frame that's the problem, problem here. And I think that if we could come up with a, a multimedia kind of strategy of these things that we're talking about, it could be really amazing. So if you're just, but if you're trying to do something to take care of this particular time frame, then maybe Marissa, what you're talking about is, is the easiest way out. Well, I agree with you 100%. And actually historically, our, our problem is we, we all have, we have really, really great ideas and they're really, really hard to implement them on time. Like certainly doing a summer newsletter is a part of our communication plan, which we have, mm -hmm. <laughs> but here we are it's time to do it. And this is kind of a time crunch because of the, uh, it's like the getting to the implement part that we've been having trouble with. So at that point I say, pull the trigger and let's get out a newsletter. <laughs> and that's where, from my perspective, design management is really important so that we're all aware, so you back up from the point of where it's due so that we're not into this, in this crunch, but there's, and, and, you know, again, in the future, I'd be glad to contribute to that because I've, you know, done that all it works really all well, corporate world. It's hard. It's difficult with volunteer organizations but, because we're all so busy and it's, it's tough. Right. Um, Tallulah. You're, you're muted, Tallulah. Sorry. I am volunteering to write a story for the newsletter. I will join the I would too. Today. Okay. Super. Everybody could write something. Well, I think I think we want to. I think we want to have a, a a subcommittee that already exists decide what the topics are, or the topics, and to put it together and have that responsibility because we need to have somebody in charge of of reading everybody's articles that are written, or at least coordinating as to. So two people don't write the same article, the same subject matter. Well, we should decide um, that now and give deadlines. Gotta, because we should decide yeah. that right now. <laughs> so who's going to write an article? Sue's going to write an article. Uh, do you know what you're going to write an article about? Because it's only going to be like two or three paragraphs. No, I, I didn't think about it yet. But I'll let okay. you know. And I'll let you know in the next day or two. Okay. Um, I just want to get moving on it. So Do you have a topic in mind? I was thinking farms. But they just did, they did, someone was just out doing surveys of the dairy farms right up the road from us. So I don't know, some historical agency, Scott Stock talked to him, he knows who it was. So I was thinking maybe doing something about the dairy farms in the area and what these people were doing with the study. All right, so I'm I'm pushing this thing to get it out. Uh, I would be on the subcommittee. Um, our branding and language subcommittee is me and Lenore and Marissa, but Lenore's busy doing other stuff. Um, always, Marissa's always super busy doing things. Um, I got nothing but free time all the time. Yeah, right. You're busy too. <laughs> so, um, but I would like to. I'd like to settle on the process that we're going to that we're going to do right here to get this thing done by the end of the month. Um, if you're going to write an article, that's one thing, but but pulling it all together, um, 
Who wants to join me to do this? I, I would not like to write an article, but I would be happy to take the edited versions and compile them into our format from last time. Okay. So you know what I mean? Like the visual stuff. Um, I also am a gifted proofreader, so I would be happy to proofread edited things. So I can, okay, I can good. produce, I can produce a final copy um, and maybe send it to Judith for some feedback. She doesn't have to be on the subcommittee, but maybe, you know, cause it gets hard towards the end when everybody's got feedback. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't want to tie myself into too much in that regard. All right. Great. Um, Nora, you had your hand up for a second. I suggest that we have a meeting on June 21st to approve it from a LPC committee perspective. That should be the only item on the meeting if we can get four people to attend, if not more. And then I would suggest that um, how much time? Do we want everything by Friday? Do we want everything by um, a week from today? Sooner the better. Okay. I would say, so you're saying like to send it. So, so I volunteered to put it together, but I'm not volunteering to edit and, pr and choose everything. Correct. Right. That makes sense. So somebody else needs to do that part. So we'll I give it to David. I can do that David. part. So, so I would say send it to David by like, I don't know, Dave, I would, if we're doing it yeah, you know, in a week, in a week is enough. So Between send now, everything now on the 14th. So send it to David from a week from today, the 14th. He can compile David, it. You got to send it to me. I need at least I'll like send it to you for the formatting. Two yeah. or three days for it. And then least. we'll have a meet. Then we'll have a meeting on the twenty first to go over it. Yep. All right. So, Lenore, did you want to make a motion for the meet? To have a meet? <laughs> Judas over there shaking. Her I know. Head. Yeah. Well, yep. So I'd like. I'll make a motion that we have a it'll special get, meeting. It'll, it'll it'll get it done, and then it'll that'll be fine, and then we can talk about right. schedule later. Yeah, yeah, we can we can learn from our. Um, you know, fine, mistakes fine. and misfunctions. So yes, I'll make so a motion. motion. I'll make a motion that we have a special meeting on June 21st, right? Yes. At 6 p.m. At 6 p.m., yeah, on Monday. That's the first day of summer. Okay, that's right. And mom's birthday. It's summer. And, it's summer. Yep, so we'll do that. And then uh, do we want the timeline? So basically give everything to David by June 14th. And then David and Marissa, you're going to work out the timing. Yes, but is it just, I mean, do we only have two articles so far? I feel like we need more information. Well, Someone can, should write about the hike that we did and the hike that's coming up. Oh, I can put, the, I can just copy and paste what I wrote. Okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, I already Which wrote means our subcommittee will need to figure out what our next hike's going to be. Right. So we have a hike coming in. You're right. We should write up, you know, the next so hike. hike. We'll have a sub hike subcommittee meeting this weekend. And then we'll come up with a hike idea to give for the newsletter. Yeah, just send it to me, email it to me, and I can include it in that blurb. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Just to know, Christina? I'm not I'm not volunteering for anything. Anything. I'm having knee replacement surgery on oh, Wednesday. Wow. So, Speaking of you. Um, yeah. So I'm not quite sure where I'll be. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, You'll be in the land. That's what I'm hearing. So. <laughs> On the yeah, I, I I can't commit to writing anything. Um, we'll see how I am this weekend. I I just I don't know what to expect. So I'm hoping. All right. Well, good, so good luck with that. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't want you guys to think. Well, I said she raised her hand for anything. No, we we knew gotcha. that you were going to have your knee surgery. On yeah. June. All right. So Talula is going to put something together. Sue, you said you were going to you wanted to write something. Yeah, I'd like to write uh, a little blurb about the importance of open space and how it affects, I don't know, I guess just some of the benefits of open space. How about, if, you know, maybe a, from the county perspective? We can, sure. even give, we, we can even get, we could probably give you a little plug, you know, Sue Shink, our county commissioner. Well, sure. I could talk about how, how it, um, how they were used during the pandemic and, and that kind of a thing. I, I think we've got a little, you know. I want you to realize that these these stories that we're gonna do are gonna be, you know, Sorry. three paragraphs. Yep. So there's not there's not a whole lot of space. Two to three I paragraphs. Can do one paragraph. Okay. Write them like 
write them like a news article so that if we have anything to cut, we'll cut from the bottom up. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. And I've got a, like those ideas that I uh, put together. And, and so I'll communicate with all of you about that and we'll. Um, yep. So okay. about right, like, like, you know, personal kind of stuff, like just this morning, this morning I walked out to the garden and here is a snapping turtle laying eggs in the garden. So very cool. I mean, that's yeah, my... the kind of thing that you get when you have land that's open and available. So does anybody have any kind of, you know, personal pictures or- I have the lily killers. Huh? I have the lily killers. <laughs> the deer. The lily, <laughs> the lily killers. <laughs> but, you know, Sorry, something... Susie just took a video of Susie <laughs> just took a, a video of a painted turtle laying yeah. eggs in a hole. There you go. You know, something that this but there's is no videos on the newsletter. Flora and fauna of yes. the land. Well, you could you could take a little picture of it and say, you know, a painted turtle laying an egg. That wouldn't be bad. Yeah, exactly. Better than the snapper. But... We yeah. are. Um, well, that's a judgment call. Well, yes, no, no, it's definitely all right. So, all right, so um, we are going to have a meeting on the 21st. Yes. And present our, our work product at, on that date. Yep. And everything okay. needs to get Good. to you, you by June 14th, and then you're going to work with Marissa on a layout. Okay. Right. So, I like it. Okay, cool. Uh, item number six. We will get this done. Uh, item six review Barry Lonick's letter. Um, I say we table that, um, Mr. Yeah. Chair. I it's 741. I think we tabled the rest of our items. Okay. I'll make a motion to table it or indefinitely postpone. I support. Any discussion? You're tabling items six and seven? Yes. Um, okay, well, I'd like to definitely bring them back at our next regularly scheduled meeting in July. That's fine. Take care of that for you, David. Make sure it's on there. Okay, thank you, Marissa. Um, considering the hour, thank you for your efforts tonight. Uh, big, to big topics were covered. Um, now we're moving into the second call of the public. Lenore, you're administering this session. Um, if you want to speak, please raise your hand and you'll be recognized to speak for three minutes. I just see that we have a uh, participant, Bob, still out there, but that's it. Well, I see Bob, and of course, Jim is taping it. Jim Nelson, thank you very much, Jim. Um, a behind the scenes local hero of the township media. All right, so if there's nobody else from call to the public, um, we can move on to committee member comments. I'd just like to say thank you. Good job. Um, I think we're getting things done and I think we're gonna be very pleased a year from now with all that we've accomplished and that we're working on right now today. Thanks again to the hike folks. And uh, that's really all I, I had at this point. Does anybody else like to jump in there with a comment? All talked out, huh? Oh, I will Marissa. real quickly, real quickly. Um, I missed a lot of the meeting tonight, so I'm actually gonna have to go back and watch the video. So you'll not be getting your minutes as soon. I usually send them like same day. It's not gonna happen today. There was a too where, much. where were you? We saw you too much. I was here. I just there's so many spots in my notes where it says gonna have to look this part up. Gonna have to look this part up. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. So I want to make sure I, we talked about a lot, and I want to make sure I capture it all. So uh, the minutes are probably more like a week out. Okay. You know, one thing just too on the comments on minutes, you can make them um, you do a really good job. You can make them more brief. Okay. You know, you do you know, you know, like conversation, you know, pardon me. That's great. I, yes, you I know, will. You know, like, like there was, you know, a conversation on um, millage language or something like that. And you know, you don't have to be as specific as you are. Um, and and the bigger thing is you have to capture the motions. Mm -hmm. Everything else is bonus. Thank you. All right, um, Judith. I just want to say um, I really appreciate this is my first meeting, you know, with the committee, and um, I'm just really excited to hear about all the ideas that people come up with and the energy, and I think it's that there are going to be really cool things coming coming out of this committee. You, I mean, the hike was great, but there's just so much there, and it's really neat. 
Yeah. Great. Oh, you know what? There's one other thing I wanted to say, which was, Christina, it was a, it was really fun. Your party, your uh, potluck. It was a great time, chance to socialize and get to know everybody a little better. Thank you for holding that. Oh, you're yeah. welcome. We missed you. It's a little weird. I admit, I know. Oh, I really yeah. regret that. Yeah, it was great to actually meet people <gasps> in person. Yeah, I think I was really looking. That. I was looking forward to that. Sorry, guys. Let's do it again. <laughs> okay. On that note, um, I'd like to make a make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? The move. Everybody's or supported. <laughs> And everyone supported. Okay, yeah, pick a name. Pick a name. I, I, I am by. Okay, thank you. Bye, bye. now. Bye. You. Bye bye. Bye. bye.